if you think about a new project, then the work starts pretty much five years ahead. Of, so it's a very intensive early stage where you have to decide what do you want to achieve and what are the systems to achieve those goals. We thought about what is really an Audi comfort experience and we found some answers. Hi, my name is Christian Schimmel. I'm in the chassis department, head of department that deals with the chassis tuning, which means adjusting the parameters and everything of steering systems, damping systems, tires, to have a pleasant ride and high performance in the car. For two years within Audi, I had the mission improve the critics for steering feel. Because we had a lot of articles and critics who said, well, the steering feel is artificial. And consequently, we did a lot of analysis there. And now we are able to have a new kind of approach using the electric power unit, which influences the amount of force that you're feeling at the steering wheel. While you're cruising, you won't feel the road because you're cruising and you want to have a pleasant ride. But once you want to have the car while you're really driving, while you want to feel the curves, while you want to feel vehicle dynamics, then the car reacts to that. It detects that you're going faster pace and then it lets you feel where you drive. But the DAS system is much more than just steering feel. It's reducing turning radius. So you have a rear wheel steering, which does up to five degrees. And consequently, the Audi A8 with the long wheelbase turns like an Audi A4. That's a great achievement. But if you have an all-wheel steering system, then you can see, oh, the driver is steering, he wants to turn over there in the left lane and afterwards in the right lane, and you can react at the front and at the rear axle at the same time. So the car reacts instantaneously to the wish of the driver. So we kind of did some extra tuning. We changed the architecture of the S-Spring. The S-Spring is now moving in a one-to-one -one ratio with the car, so we did that. But the EABC is a completely different story. Well, when it comes to making something new, have an innovation in a car, then you have to do something different. And consequently, we had to build our own system, an electronic chassis system. And the new thing is we have four actuators. Each wheel may be actuated independently. We have a system which is fast and which kind of lets the wheel see the bump and move very fast away from the bump, which is not possible with the passive systems. But basically you have the modules that take care of the body movement, which are kind of slow movements like heaving or pitching or rolling. So there's modules that measure the roll movements and then they try to minimize that in a very fluent way, very comfortable way. And on the other side, there's fast modules, which are kind of controlling the wheel when it comes to vehicle dynamics. So they detect that the wheel is jumping at a bump, then it adjusts the chassis to have a smooth ride there. It's an all Audi system, so we know everything about it and we could tune everything in the way that we wanted. That's kind of a key factor, but we wanted to have everything under control, especially as we have the most complex car in the world. Most of all, what you're experiencing when you drive that car, it really makes us very proud. It enables us to have an experience like the magic carpet that is always quoted when it comes to comfort. <laughs>